Okay, my name is Julie Reddy and I'm the Deputy CEO of SACPOT. The policy was uh, launched last year, finalized and approved last year, but now we're in, uh, looking at how people implement it and, and really taking the policy to the public. Well, I think the, the real major success is that we, we got this uh, collectively approved policy out there. And the fact that we were able to reach some kind of consensus about what a SACWA RPR policy should be, I think is a major achievement. Um, I think our other achievement is we're really taking RPL to the people who need it. Uh, given our history and given you know the South African context, there are a lot of people with skills and experience and knowledge that have never ever been recognized for this in a formal way. And that's what RPL will do, so that's a major success. I think that there is so much interest in RPL in a diversity of cons constituencies. I mean, ETV is here, we're doing RPL with them, we're working with the police, we're working with SASCOC in terms of coaches in the sports field, so you could see the diversity and range, as well as academic institutions and other places. You know, I, I think what impressed me is that people are engaging with the policy. The, what came through is that people are engaging so that the policy, I think, is speaking to them. It's done in a, in a user-friendly, simple way. And, you know, the references to particular um, clauses in the policy, I think, is, for me, stood out. And I'm hoping that that engagement will, will continue. Because, you know, it, it links to the point that we've been raising. We are, as a country, come up with wonderful policies. I mean, we're very good at writing things. The, the challenge is the implementation. And that's what this conference is about, you know. How do we take this policy and make it a living document and make sure that, you know, it informs implementation? So we at SACWA are quite pleased at that. And over the next two days, we're hoping we will see more examples of this.